I'm your host Frank the Tank and this is Upgrade. Today I have the Surface 4. We're going to demo it for you. We're going to open it up and what's included in the box and my recommendations towards this machine. So let's start with the Surface 4. I've been following Microsoft for quite a while and this is a pretty awesome machine to have. Now, if you're gonna buy this, uh, watch the video, my recommendation, what you're gonna need to have after included. So you, you, it's pretty important to stick around and also subscribe. Uh, this helps the show bring in new items and new hardware and you guys could enjoy and give me some feedback. Um, so first of all, when you open it up, it's pretty slick. They have these stickers. You can see the stickers right here. It's just pretty much remove them and open them up. So when you open this machine up, they do give you the power cord itself. Um, you open it up and it opens up nice and smoothly. It just it just takes the whole box itself and, and the and the footprint, the world footprint with all this waste of batteries and boxes. Um, it's pretty awesome. So off the box, oh, it just turned on right now. Off the box, you get the machine and. Um, it's pretty little awesome nail neat. They have all these little vents now. So all the heat comes off from the top. Uh, they have your display uh, connection. They have your one USB, one USB. They have one audio connection. They have your power. You have your beat, your, your, your volume, your audio. And you also get a couple of camera. You get a camera actually right in the front. So I'm gonna fingerprint this machine of course. And you get a kickstand. So pretty little neat machine there's a problem there's no keyboard you got to buy that separate uh, it's a separate um, purchase so say you buy this for 800 bucks keyboards another 200 bucks um, other peripherals you're gonna need you got down the line so you're probably gonna spend uh, over 2,000 bucks almost if you're gonna include what I'm gonna talk about here so so you have your power cord you have your surface 4 you got this wonderful, wonderful pen. If you're an artist and you're thinking about getting the Wacom tablet um, and you want to spend money on a laptop, uh, this is a great tool to have as an artist. It's, it's just a, it feels smooth and simple to use. Um, I myself as I was a graphic designer, so I, I love this system. It feels so smooth and it recognizes your fingers. So it, it, it doesn't write it knows that there's a pen there so it, when you actually start writing into a system it's gonna write exactly what you wrote and and it's very sensitive too so the, the harder you squeeze it's like a pencil you you actually get the lead even stronger and darker so an artist must if you're an artist or graphic designer out there and you're gonna uh, instead of spending the the money on a, a Wacom tablet uh, this is a great way to start it's a PC um, great for offices uh got lots of people using this in office um it's a pretty rugged system except for the glass very fragile the glass and one thing that microsoft doesn't tell you when this breaks the glass is not part of your warranty just to let you know if you want to replace the glass and you want to do it yourself it's very difficult don't recommend you you need a heat gun you need to pass a heat gun over the whole system and replace the glass. The glass itself is around 100 to 200 bucks. I'll uh, put some information on Amazon from Amazon and Newegg and other users. Uh, when you run it through the whole system in here with the heat gun, you need suction cups, you need other things, and you need to start taking them. It's very difficult to remove this. So my recommendation, if you crack this, don't give up on it. Um, if you're willing to spend the $400, if you bought this for $800, uh, to replace the glass is around $400. So Go to the nearest Microsoft store or call them. They'll ask you. They'll send you. You'll, you're going to have to send this in. And make sure you back it up because they're going to wipe the whole system. They might put in a newer OS or they might not touch it and just replace the glass. I, I had different um, cases happen to me where they wiped the whole system and I lost pictures and music and other items that were important. So before you send it out, if you crack the glass, make sure you back it up very important now the pen does have a battery in there it's a little mic i'm not sure how many uh, a's are there in the batteries but it's a little small battery it's not a triple a battery it's smaller than that 
Uh, you might get uh, uh, some pharmacy or Walmart or Sears or online if you want the battery. The battery lasts for quite a while, so you might not need a replacement for until the next model comes out. So my recommendation is make sure that you get a cover for it if you're going to have it as this. Um, if you're going to buy the keyboard, make sure the keyboard closes up because they have different keyboards, of course. The main keyboard that's included in this and you buy the system, it, it actually has a magnet, so it does have this these little brackets in the bottom here that actually magnetize and connect. Another thing I forgot to mention that the pen is magnetized to the system. So if you're walking around or you forget about it, it's pretty much in there too. They also have one of these things so you can hook up in your pocket protector too. So it feels like a great pen. They do have needle replacements for the pen itself. The pen itself it needs its own video. So it's just, it, there, there's so much good things about this pen that I, I could go on and on for it. As an artist myself, I feel like the, they're taking a step even better than than what it was 10 years ago. Now, before you needed to put a glove on so your system won't be recognized. I mean, it was very, very sensitive. Now, the technology has advanced so much that that's off off the charts. It's, it's just incredible how they make the pen. This is, this is like their third generation, fourth generation. This is a Surface 4, so it's a fourth generation pen, and it just keeps getting better. Of course, there's a little clicker in here. You could turn it off. You could program it to turn on. You could change to your favorite application. If you're an artist, you click on it. Brings in Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator. Great tool. I mean, it's easy to program and it's um, it's Bluetooth. So off the bat, it tells you and it identifies itself and it connects and it syncs up to it. So a very good item to have. Like I said, the pen would need its own video by itself. So you do get also the instructions here are also included they're attached to it to it so it's a pretty neat box that you get with it it's um if you want to keep it for quite a while and just stick around in case you know you got to ship it back if you break it because uh, eventually i i've seen these break very simple and very fragile i mean little corners dent and it just shatters the whole thing so make sure you you keep it well secure somewhere and if you're on the field or um in an office it, they could break anywhere uh, for office environment, it's a good system. It, I wouldn't recommend it as a personal desktop replacement. It's not as powerful as you think. Uh, the NVIDIA, it doesn't have an NVIDIA or any CPU that's hard and stronger than what you want it for. If you're a gamer, don't get this. Um, this is something just made for offices pretty much. And if you're gonna travel around, very light, very neat to carry on, um, very simple. If you're on an airplane, you pop it out, bring your keyboard, start writing things on if you want you could use it as a pen start writing your information take notes during class it, it's a great little tool i've seen this being utilized so much that uh i gave it a good recommendation for anybody that's going to be in the office they do have other stuff that i'm going to talk about now including with the system this the things i'm going to talk about are not included but my recommendation is to have you're going to need one of these so StarTech makes a good little USB device, but it's going to take your only USB on the system. So make sure if there's no wireless devices or any wireless antenna, you are going to need a NIC card, of course. And if you want to carry this as an emergency, if there's no Wi-Fi, mostly all the offices have Wi-Fi. But say one day the Wi-Fi system goes down and you only have a NIC, this is a great accessory to have. So you plug and play, automatically installs the driver. StarTech's well known for all these new little systems that they create. It's a USB. And then once you plug it in, you it has an extra USB on its side too. So it won't take your last USB. It gives you actually an extra one. So it, you take the only one, but it opens up a new one. So it's a great little hardware to have as in case of emergency. So you add this in there and the price keeps going up. Now, this is highly recommended because the old way of media is still being utilized. So you have two connections and you have a display port. This is actually a Thunder connection, Thunderbolt connection from, from Mac. So it was, it's called display port. Now, you, a mini display port, if I could say that. You have a VGA connection and you have an HDMI, of course, because when you buy the system, there's no other display system, only what you get. So what you do is you plug this right in the side of the laptop plug it in this way and you're ready to go so most of the times that you're traveling to offices and they're presenting on old equipment old um, displays they have old media connections so if you're going to present on a projector that they don't have an hdmi they have vga 
great to have too so this is a great addition to have on the travel with you and it's a must for anybody that's going to be taking this machine as a travel machine or as an office machine now microsoft makes great products like i said they have gotten a lot better and they do have a docking station for this machine so the old docking station i'm going to show you a docking station of the old-fashioned compared to the new system so now they do have great docking stations now so i'm going to unbox it right here in front of you and what you actually i will recommend you if you're going to have this in an office and permanently sit it there and it's not going to be traveling with you but you love the system you, i will recommend you a docking station for it it, it comes with its its own power of course it's all included here there's two pieces to the power i ain't gonna open them uh, they're pretty much awesome little system so it comes with the power connection here it has a nic card it has for audio in case you want to set up your extra speakers you have and it gives you two display ports for two monitors instead of adding another peripheral like this to display to do the different systems you can actually have it on the docking station two different mini displays right here ready to go and all you have to do is buy those connections convert them to hdmi or whatever other connection display ports and connect them to go so another two great things you get two usbs on top of this now one thing i forgot to mention on this system you add it when it charges it actually plugs in exactly how your power cord plugs in and it plugs in right on the side of it you'll see a little light display saying that it's on once you connect there you're going to see flickering your tv it's going to kick in it kicks in all the drivers if you have a mouse or anything else connects it so besides two here they also give you two more in the front so this is pretty much for your wireless device or your mouse or anything that you have or or uh, if you want to charge your um, uh, iphone or droid it's a great system to have on around so my recommendation if you're going to buy this peripheral if this system you're gonna to wanna to add a docking station. Uh, this is for the people that don't, that don't travel and just have it there and they love the item, then it's a must have. I mean, if you add all these items, including the keyboard, it, it's gonna cost you a pretty penny. So I will include all the prices included on this video. So stick around, upgrade. Five, four, three, two, one. So. I am going to display all the prices on the system and uh, if you like what you see please subscribe I will talk more about it I'll give you a demo if you like to know about it I will just do another video but this is Frank the Tank signing off from Upgrade five four three two one so now i'm going to give you a demo of the docking station itself this is a new docking station this is the old docking station so this old docking station what you do is you open it up and you close it once you have the system in there i don't recommend you this because um sometimes when you're rushing now and you have your system docked in there and you're trying to pull it out what you're going to do is you're going to damage the pins on the charging station not only have i seen this glass break but also seen it where they damage the pins so much on the corner that you're not able to charge or do anything and it's pretty much just a useless um doorstep i would say you know so i will keep away from these stocking stations get the newest one i mean uh, i'll put the prices on it and compare it but strongly recommend you not getting this one getting this one these the, this is the old-fashioned way they do have pretty much one display port two usbs actually four usbs and a nic card and an audio connection you have a locking system too but the only and oh actually you do have another another usb here and it tells you a little picture how to magnetize your pen which is not a big deal but my recommendation is not get these systems uh I've seen it where they damage the system so much that you have to send it into Microsoft. Um, every time you lock it in, open it up, and you forget to unlock it, and you try to pull it out, it damages your surfaces. Um, so if you value your surface and you have a lot of stuff in there and you don't want to damage it, try to keep away from these. Throughout time, they start failing. Um, I've been having a lot of great results with this item, this smaller docking series. They're a little heavy, like a little brick. 
but you can use them for two things their curdy system hit somebody in the head <laughs> or or just have it there make sure you know put some weight on it uh, it's a paperweight it's pretty heavy but it does a better job than this old docking station so if you like what you see subscribe i'm frank the tank from upgrade